out at El Dorado Park on July 9th, 2013 with Floyd White and his brother Alan. The uh, event today is that this Prairie Bird 50, a Peck model from 1985, was one that Floyd started construction on. He thinks right about the time it came out, he's telling us 30 years ago, right Floyd? Right. And what happened back then? What kind of glue What went into this? What do you remember about it? It's uh, built with aliphatic resin to tan carpenter glues, except that everything in the nose area is epoxy because it was thought that it would be a 049 gassy. That's right. When it was originally made, it says here in the yellowed plans and the instruction materials about it, 049 to 15 gas. So, Floyd, you actually fuel proofed all of this in here, right. didn't you? Uh, approximately February this year, Floyd asked me if I wanted to take over and complete it. So the only thing I did, he had all the construction done. The only thing I did was work on the controls. And what we found was that the new battery, the new motor, and the new servos were so much lighter than that Astro Flight heavy battery they had back in the 80s. And when I got done, the thing was underweight by about a half a pound. And so in my initial tests yesterday, we found out it's just too light. We had to actually add weight, both the balance and weight to bring the, uh, bring the, the, the actual flying weight to the specs, which were called for 30 ounces to 45 ounces uh, gas, 30, up to 40, 45 ounces electric. So this is the Prairie Bird 50 originally. Well, very originally, it was rubber-powered free flight, right, Floyd, the first Prairie Bird? Well, the first one was a 16-inch one. Yeah. And it looked just like this, but it was rubber-powered. And I've seen those flying, at least on YouTube, and they fly very, very well, and they float for a couple minutes in, a, in, in their uh, descent, too. So this was redesigned, as we said, for gas and for power, and now, now what we're doing is flying it with an E-Flight uh, outrunner brushless motor and that's going to be part two as we take off today there's the e-flight motor we got a 2200 milliamp three cell lipo in it ESC spectrum radio so it's basically rudder elevator throttle and we, we're swinging a 10 by 7.5 prop on it if you're wondering about the wheels being disproportionate to the model. Well, that's because out here at El Dorado, we have so much grass that for the maiden flight, we put the wheels on it, which are fun cub bush wheels, or what do you call them, Alan? Prairie wheels. Prairie. Game wheels. warden. Game warden. Actually, we've decided the thing is so light and bouncing around a little bit of wind that when we go out for the maiden flight today, we're gonna have Robert Harder uh, hand launch it and you'll see him hand launching it as we take off in a few minutes. Any other comments on the model, Floyd? You did a fine job. Well, thank you, and we're ready for flight. Thank you. Okay. This is part two of the maiden voyage of Floyd White's Prairie Bird 50, begun construction in about 1985. Today we're here in uh, July of 2013. We've just interviewed Floyd over on the bench and we're about to launch his Prairie Bird 50 at El Dorado Park in Southern California for the maiden voyage. Let's give it a power check. And a final check of the dual rates. I think we're ready. Ready? We're going into the sun. Here you go for the camera. You got that? Yeah, it's, it's gonna look like a it's gonna look like a speck in the sky.
How's it flying? Uh, I haven't been paying much attention to that one. Robert, why don't you get a few shots of it? You're better at Second flight of Floyd Flight's very, very 50.